So I get a lot of requests asking how you can structure a strength training or gym training program around your martial arts. Uh, so today I'm in the gym and I thought I'd give you a couple of tips to help you on your way. So first of all, how can we fit the two together? How can we fit in martial arts training and strength training? Um, preferably, you would like to keep these as far away from each other as possible, especially if you're training two, two times in the day or twice in the same day. Um, personally, I'd like to do a gym session early in the morning after, after a breakfast and a, and a meal maybe. And then later on, after a couple more meals and a bit more recovery time, I'll then go for the martial arts session. Okay, so they're as far, far from each other in time as possible. Um, this, this helps to um, ensure that one is not affecting the other. You know, you're not too fatigued from the, the strength training beforehand, um, from the, you know, for your martial arts session, but also you're not affecting your recovery from your strength training by going straight into a martial arts session afterwards. Another factor to consider is your programming. Um, so it's important that we train the full body. Uh, this, is, this is standard across strength training anyway. You know, we don't want to be neglecting certain areas of the body. Um, there's many, many YouTube videos out there on how to program uh, for, for strength training, but a rough idea would be to ensure that you are covering the main body parts. Um, in terms of bodybuilding, it'd be the shoulders, chest, back, legs, arms, and this can be done in, in a number of different ways. So there's a, personally, I'm using a push-pull legs split at the moment, which, which consists of the first day being pushed, meaning all, all kind of pushing muscles, chest, shoulders, triceps. Uh, the next day will be pull, which involves the pulling, the back, move, movements of the back, pulling, rows, pull-ups, that kind of thing, um, as well as biceps. And then the third day will be legs, which of course is uh, all your squatting, hip hinging, uh, those kind of motions but it all depends on time if you have less time then your program is going to reflect that you know maybe you'll do two full bodies a week or something like that um, in where you're training the, the entire body in one session two times a week uh, to fit also with your martial arts because you know not everyone's got all the time in the world they've got work to get to and things like this so it's important to make sure we can manage what we're doing uh, with time and also with recovery So recovery then, speaking about recovery, uh, if we're training extra, if we're doing strength training as well as our martial arts training, we're obviously going to be expending a lot more energy. Um, and in that case, then we're going to need to be able to fuel our bodies. So we need to make sure we're eating enough. Um, a, a high protein diet would be ideal. And also sleeping enough, getting enough rest. So although we're increasing the amount of training we're doing in terms of frequency, we're also making sure that we're resting as well. Um, so you might want to have one or two full days a week where you have no training or have some kind of very light cardio for active recovery, just getting the body moving. In terms of how to um, perform exercises, I think it's important to make sure we go through a full range of motion uh, for martial arts especially, because a lot of the time the question is, will my mobility be affected? Um, and I believe that a good strength training program, if done correctly, is, uh, is going to improve your mobility as long as you're, you're training correctly, uh, training with good form and good technique. Uh, so let's say a, um, a squat, you know, going to a full depth squat, for example, is going gonna, is gonna to help your mobility in your, your calves, your ankles, your quads, um, hamstrings. So we just need to ensure that we're taking out our exercises for a full range of motion rather than short movements. Um, you know, a very basic example would be, you know, a full, full extension for the arm into a bicep curl, for all the way down using the full stretch into the, the full stretch at the bottom and a full contraction at the top rather than short, small movements like this. Um, this can help promote better mobility, better range of motion and better flexibility in the long run. Um, this is especially more important, I would say, in things like um, remaining deadlifts, squat, uh, the kind of motions where you are, you know, using a lot of muscles together rather than um, isolations. Will it make you slower? This is another comment that I get quite often on strength training or, or bodybuilding or this kind of thing makes you slow. Well, if you put on 60 pounds of muscle then maybe but 
I think people are underestimating how difficult it is to put on that much muscle. It doesn't happen by accident. You know, it's um, it takes a lot of time. You know, if you're getting if you're getting there, there's always time to stop. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, but I wouldn't worry about that at all. I've found I've I've put on quite a, a bit of size in my time of, of training martial arts and training with strength training, and my speed is. The, the, the difference is there's no there's no noticeable difference to me. You know I can still move uh, I, I believe fairly quickly. Um, however, with more power and more control, so it's a win. Something else to uh, consider is to make sure we are tracking what we're doing with our training. You know, so we're not just coming in and uh, aimlessly going through the motions. You know, we have some kind of plan that we're following uh, with where we're progressively overloading the movements uh, week, week by week. You know, not just coming in one day and doing something and then kind of guessing next time. It's important to see where you are going. You know, it's like just getting in the car and driving with no destination. We need to have a plan of where we're going to be um, and the program is how we're going to get there. So that's also really important to remember. Um, I will be putting together some training programs in the future um, pretty soon, so I'll get them out as soon as I can, if you're interested in that kind of thing. But um, yeah, otherwise, make sure you are tracking what you're doing and uh, you'll see your progress much quicker. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that video there and hopefully there's something you can take away. Um, I'll go into more detail on a few things in future videos, but if you liked it, please like, subscribe and uh, share with those you think will benefit. Uh, thank you until next time.